Hi Painter friends, it's Sydney from Sid Play and Set Out. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be planning in my A5 Sterling Ink Common Planner. I couldn't decide what words I wanted to say. Um, and we're going to be planning for, I don't know, whatever the week after um, Halloween is. Oh, I didn't pull out any dates, you guys. I pulled out everything else that I thought I was going to need. At least I think I did. We'll see. I'm sure there's something else I forgot. But I thought I pulled everything else out. All right. Let's see if we can find... This is very disorganized and kind of a disaster right now. But, like, it's kind of my MO right now. So <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. All right. We need these. We'll need one of those. I don't know if any of those are going to match, but we're going to find out. And then, what is this week? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think these are going to work. Let's use those. I like these too, but we'll use those for for uh, um, this one. Good lord, what are words? I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm struggling. I was going to not film this because I felt like I was struggling today earlier when I was filming another video, but also like I want to film it. So here we are. All right. For this week's spread, we're going to use some combination of stickers here. So I have this sheet of stickers from According to Allie. It's called Fall Feels. I think it's very cute and I don't know, it just feels cozy. And as much as I don't really want it to be cold, um, I kind of want it to be cozy, you know? I don't, I just, uh, cozy vibes, at least in my planner. Um, and then I have these book scraps from Create With Mandy and this It's Fall Y'all sheet of quotes from Create With Mandy. So I think I'm gonna bring those in. I just felt like the book scraps with these like fall vibes would feel nice. And then I have these two washies. I'm gonna use this one at the bottom and then this one at the top. And then, I don't know if I like any of the, ooh, the green one could probably work. Or I could just go with black, but that's boring. Um, I think I'll probably use this green one. Or maybe the teal one, because it matches the scarf. Hmm, I could do that. And then, yeah, all of those are from Planner Kate. Okay. I think that's all I need. I don't know. Feeling very, like, I don't know what I'm doing for some reason. So that should be fun. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good day. Oh, I wanted to mention, I think this washi, I think it's from the Happy Planner, but I really don't know. Um, and it's almost empty. So I'm a little sad, but it's fine. <laughs> it is one of my favorite fall washies because it's like a coppery kind of color, right? Like it's just kind of perfect for fall. So it has been one of my go-tos for like a fall washi. Um, this washi, I, I don't know. It's either from Amazon or maybe the washi tape shop like a long time ago, but honestly uncertain so yeah where have I been putting oh yeah because I've been putting meals I was like where have I been putting this washi I don't even know what I'm doing <laughs> I like set up all of these so long ago like all of those other ones that I'm like what was I even doing so I guess I'll need a dot marker also I need to go up higher here maybe Yeah, that's right. Okay. Guess I'll need to get a dot marker, but you know, we'll deal with that in a minute. Gonna, I feel like I should be utilizing the sidebar in this planner, but I don't really like have uh, anything that I want to do with it. So <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm like, I feel like it's a waste if I'm not using it, but also like I don't really have anything that I feel like is necessary to put over there. So 
it is what it is. I think this is, well, it feels a lot more almost empty than I think it is. I don't know. I have noticed in the last couple weeks that all of my like favorite, like my go-to washies, this is not as dark as I thought it was. It's fine. Um, a lot of them are running out. Oh, rude. Actually, I was going to use just plain grid washi, like white with black grid washi for this video. Um, and it was empty. Like it had barely any left on it. Like it was just faking me out. I was like, I don't know that there's a whole lot on here. And I pulled and it was like the very end. And I was like, okay, well, that's upsetting, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to hold off on the dot marker for down here and probably on the Tombow, geez Louise, um, until I kind of put some stickers in and figure out like what colors I'm actually going with and all that jazz. All right, let's put this up here. I mean, the sidebar could just be an area to be cute which I think is probably what I'm going to do. But, you know, sometimes I feel like, is that the way to go? Like, I don't know. <laughs> is it okay? Like, it totally is. But I think that I'm going to mark in my work day here really quick. And then I'm going to put that sticker down. So I don't really care if it covers it. But I think I want it in here first. Wait, do we work this day? Yes, it's the next Monday that we're off. I was like, wait, because the next Monday is Veterans Day. I almost said President's Day and I was like, that is very much incorrect, Sydney. Try again. This is a Muji 0.38 pen. Even with a ruler, that line is crooked. I love that for me. Um, <laughs> goodness. But yeah, I like this pen for the lines. I also just like um, a gel pen for using a ruler. I don't feel like a fountain pen and a ruler would get along really well. I don't know, maybe, but mm, that just doesn't sound nice. Okay, um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put the meetings in here as well. And when I say put the meetings in, I mean just do like the little line thing that I've been doing. If you've been watching my videos, then you know. Oof, those are not the straightest lines. I definitely could have used the ruler, but whatever, it's fine. Okay. And then I have these meeting stickers from Planner Kate as well. I have zero plans of ordering more of these just because like they're very unnecessary, but I have them. So I'm using them, if that makes sense. Like if I didn't have them, I would not like be going out to buy them. They're just something that I already owned. So I decided that I was going to continue using them. Okay, that is the, that is all of the meetings. Those are all of the meetings, whatever. That's all for Monday. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay, that's cute. And then let's see. Maybe we just kind of like frame up this corner. Do I need to write Meals? Probably not. Like, I know what it is. I know what I'm using this section for. I don't know how I put that down so crooked, but that's fine. We're just gonna pretend that it's not. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then I think we'll just do like some falling leaves in the sidebar here to 
take up the rest of the space. If I can get them off the sheet. I think this is just like, these have been sitting for a really long time. So I think I bought these last year. I think, I think it was last year. It was either last year or the year before. It's possible it was the year before, but I don't know for sure. Um, these stickers are from Planner Kate. Like I said, these are Julie's Plans font. I love her handwriting and her font is beautiful. I wish that I could write like her. I honestly, oh, who else? I feel like I saw someone's handwriting the other day that I hadn't seen or I hadn't really like appreciated before or something. And I was just like, man, I wish my handwriting looked like that. Like I have decent handwriting, but there's just something about like this handwriting, like this font. I'm just like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it so much. I will most likely be buying another sheet of these when this one is out. I don't mind writing the numbers myself, but also like if I have a number sticker, I'm going to use it. <laughs> so, which I feel like is pretty common, right? Like if you have the number, might as well use it. All right. What does this week start? The fourth, right? Pretty positive. We'll just double check. Yep. You know what I didn't put in here? Daylight saving time. Who do I think I am? I know this is totally like off topic, but we're gonna put it in here and I'm gonna use, look, I have now an orange one of these and a white one of these to go with my green one of these because I have a problem. But they're like pretty cheap fountain pens and they're like knockoffs of the Pilot Vanishing Point. And yeah, this one has, what is this called? Pilot Hiroshizuku Yuyake. I hope I didn't butcher that Japanese too bad, but yeah, it's an orange ink. It's very pretty. And because daylight savings time sucks, we might as well write it with a pretty ink, right? Right. Daylight saving. Ends. I think I'm just gonna write, yeah, just daylight saving ends. I don't need to write daylight saving time. Alrighty. Okay, now that we did that, got distracted, let's go back to this <laughs> where, where we are trying to number this week. Good lord. I am beyond shook that it's, it is about to be November. Like I, I normally feel like, wow, the months are flying by, but I actually feel like October just like poof disappeared, um, which is unsettling because you know what other months poof disappear? November and December, which means it's going to be 2025 before I know it. Like that is honestly what I'm feeling is it will be 2025 before I even have the chance to breathe. That's, that's how it's feeling. So that's a little bit, um, I'm not, I'm not feeling that, you know, not feeling it. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this teal weekend banner. Ooh, I feel like that looks really nice with the, with that like coppery washi. Ooh, that's cute. All right. I'm a fan. Let's see. Um, I want to put in more fun things, but I also feel like maybe I should put in like my days first <laughs> and then I can come back to the fun things. And by fun, I mean the cute things. I say as I continue to put down stickers and ignore the own, my own words. I just, these are so cute. I don't know where else I can even put them. Okay, let's put the days in. 
put in our stuff here. Um, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I don't even know. Okay, I'm losing it, you guys. I'm losing it. I feel like everything is insane right now. I need boxes. And I tried to use these boxes last week, if you remember. And then I was like, oh, they're really little. Um, because they're actually made for the monthly. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. Maybe we just stick with the teal. Because we already started with it. I think we're going to. So we'll use this one for PT. I think it'll... Yeah, it's a little awkward. It's a little bigger than I want it to be. But that's okay. We're also gonna get one of these, which I didn't plan on using these. I mean, I didn't really even plan on buying that size of icon, but I have been using them and I kind of like it. So. We'll stick with it. Um, let's see. I don't like to write on boxes with, or really just sticker paper in general, with fountain pens. I just, I don't know. It like bleeds and it's, it's not cute. So, <laughs> yeah. I think that one matches this better, but I feel like this one, or that one even, will match that. Let's use this one for church. Uh, do I wanna use a sticker? I mean, I have a bunch of them. I might as well, right? Put a sticker on the sticker because why not, right? That's how I feel about it. So let's get, we'll just use one of these again. I think that's what I used last week. I honestly don't know anymore. <laughs> it all just exists. Oh, it is a little big for this box, but that's okay. These are also from Planner Kate. <laughs> um, I was on her website and I was looking for like A5 boxes. And the only ones that I could find were these, um, monthly ones. So I guess that's the only ones she has or for the monthly, which is why these are kind of an awkward size in the weekly, but that's okay. I will survive. All right. There is that. Now I can finish here. I just wanted to make sure that that was down because last week I went a little crazy. And I went way too far. And then I was like, no, and I had to use white out and it was a whole thing. I am really ready for this Friday, the eighth to happen. It's like over a week away, but I'm like, yeah, let's go. Cause the next Monday is veterans day and we have the day off and I love a day off. I love a three day weekend. Also, a lot of people, it's very strange. I, I don't know where it's coming from, but a lot of people at work are taking, like I'm filming this, I don't even know what day it is, the 29th, I think. And a lot of people are taking like this coming weekend, like the first and the 31st, which like if it was a bunch of people with kids, okay, like maybe take off Halloween, but also like, why do you need the day off on Halloween for your kids? I don't know. I mean, more power to you. If you have the PTO, do it. But I don't know. It's just weird because like all the people that are doing it, it's just a bunch of single people. So I'm like, what are you doing? I mean, I'm just nosy. I just like to know things. <laughs> I like to know why people are using their PTO in specific ways. And why? I mean, I couldn't tell you, but it's fine. Okay, let's move on to putting in the meetings. 
so many meetings that I didn't have before. Like these are very, like they just became a thing and I don't want to do them. Like my week, my current week, so many meetings have been added and I'm like, what are we doing? And we're adding meetings like half an hour before they happen, which is garbage. Like, I'm sorry. If you, like, you better be, like, you need to communicate if you're going to put out a meeting half an hour, 45 minutes before you want it to be a thing. But no, people just keep adding things to the calendar. It's making me so mad. I'm very over it. Oh no. I have a meeting that I'm unprepared for here. I mean, like I said, it's only like the 29th, so it's only Tuesday. Definitely have time to prepare, but <laughs> looking at it on the calendar, I'm like, oh gosh. Don't wanna, but I gotta. Hmm. Do I want to go to this meeting? It's probably just gonna be annoying. Well, I'll put it on there. I've kind of been avoiding these meetings just because I find them irritating, but <laughs> it's fun. Because they're not like a required meeting. Obviously it was a required meeting. I would go even if I found it irritating, but the, it's not a required meeting. So I'm like, mm, mm, do I need to go? <laughs> Uh, I don't really think so. It's fine. Whatever. All right. Um, this meeting. Oh, what happened to the other meeting? Hmm. I think the series might have ended. Because I don't remember seeing a cancellation for this. So my assumption is the series ended, which that's really fun. I'm just going to leave it for now. I'll add it in later. If needed, when necessary, whatever. I've gotten really good in the last like few weeks, I feel like, of reading Military Time. <laughs> Which is so funny because like I, you know, this would have been a helpful skill like a year ago. But I feel like recently it's just like become a thing where I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. That's this time. And I'm like, oh wait, what? <laughs> Sometimes I do like out loud. I struggle with it though. I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, 1600. <laughs> don't you know what that means? I'm like, no, they probably don't. 1600 in case you're curious and you do not know is 4 p.m. It's one of my favorite times. Why? I don't know. I just like that number. One of my least favorite military times is 20 hundred. I just think it sounds silly. Like, <laughs> and that's, that's the only, um, that's the only reason that I think it's silly. It's 8 p.m. But I just think 20 hundred sounds kind of goofy. It just, like, and, um, yeah, it just sounds goofy to me. <laughs> Which I feel like sounds goofy probably to a lot of people. I actually talked to, at one point, I work with um, a lot of military clients. In case you were like, what are you talking about? Um, I was talking to one of them at one point about it. And he was like, I hate military time. <laughs> he was like, I'm still not good at it. And he like has been in the military for, for a while. His wife is also in the military and he was like, yeah, my wife always makes fun of me because I, I just can't do it quickly. And I was like, N I mean, I'm glad it's not just me. Like, <laughs> makes me feel better since he, uh, you know, has been in the military. Makes me feel better that I'm not the only one that struggles with it. I just feel like it, it's like a concept that my brain does not want to understand. I don't know. I just realized I need another box for this week because my brother has his show on Friday and I can't remember if I have said this or not yet, but so he's doing Romeo and Juliet, which great, fine. Romeo and Juliet is fine. It's not my favorite Shakespeare, but okay. 
Um, however, when I was buying tickets last week, also, what is up with all of these meetings on a Friday? What is this? That's trash. Um, when I was buying tickets for it last week, this week, last week, I don't remember when it was, honestly, but I was looking at the description of it, um, online, like with the ticket. And I was like, wait, this says that this is not like Shakespeare set in Shakespeare times. This is Romeo and Juliet set in, like they're supposed to be like rival biker gangs, which is honestly just, it's, I mean, it's fine, whatever, because there's that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, the Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio, where it's like set, like they're mobsters. So it's just kind of funny because it's like, oh, wait, <laughs> what? Like, oh, we're doing that? Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot that it was election day on Tuesday. I already voted. That's why. Um, I did early voting. That's definitely why I uh, forgot that was a thing. Oops. I'm going to put it in there. Um, We're going to use this box for my brother's show. But yeah, it was funny because I guess he hasn't mentioned that to anyone like I said something to my parents and they were like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, that's, that's what it said online. And they were like, wait, he hasn't said anything about that, which is hilarious, but also like very my brother. Um, <laughs> so that was fun. And then they were like, wait, you didn't tell us like, this is real. And he was like, yeah. They were like, why didn't you, you didn't say anything. And he was like, okay. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, very typical, like, okay. And kind of like teenage boy. It was, it was very funny. I was laughing. I was like, this is quite the adventure. All right. We're going to use one of these smaller ones for election day, just so I can put it like up in this space. So use this one obviously even though I already voted election day is important and I want it in my planner but yeah I think that's kind of why I keep forgetting because I already voted because early voting is a glorious thing and I am very happy that it is easy to do and highly accessible in my area because I know that's not the case everywhere. All right. I think we have everything in the planner now. Oh, wait. We need to put dots for food. What color? Should we just use the brown? I think we will. So I'm just going to use this. This is called Fawn. Yeah. This is a clean color dot marker from Zig. Oh, I guess I messed up. So I've been putting four dots. Oh, no. I don't know. I was like, oh, my spacing isn't right, but I don't really know what I've been. I don't know. It matches last week, so it's fine. <laughs> I guess my spacing wasn't as nice as I thought it was. Well, and now I'm making it extra ugly. Goodness. This feels like it's like kind of dried out. I don't know. It's very light. But it's also like not dried out. Like it's very pigmented. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to use this to put November up here as well. That's cute. Okay. What else? Do we just put in some more of these now? There's not really room, like I said. But I kind of want some more. <laughs> I just feel like, I don't know, which is funny because in these other weeks, like there's barely been any decorative stickers, but something about this week, I'm like, mm, I just need all of the stickers for some reason. I couldn't tell you why. Maybe because I actually put like some forethought into this spread versus just like, let's grab some stickers and see what happens, which is what I did on the other ones. Cause I was just trying to see if I even wanted to use it or not. Um, I think that might have to be it only because I want to use a lot more stickers, but like, I don't know, maybe we'll put this candle right 
here. I guess I could put it like on this washi. There's no reason not to. And although I'm probably gonna be staying up pretty late on Tuesday, whatever, it's fine. Maybe we put, I'm never up at six. Maybe seven, but not six. Oh, hmm. Um, okay. Then I need another one up there if I'm going to do that. Maybe we put this one here. And then someone tell me to stop. Goodness. <laughs> ah, this is what happens. This is what happens. I just get carried away for no reason. We're gonna put this under this one. Let's do that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm probably not going to do anything after this, safe to say, because this is probably going to go, as Shakespeare, it'll probably go until like 10 for all I know you know how Shakespeare goes. So maybe we'll put a quote over there. Let's see. I kind of like snuggle season. That's cute. Um, now I'm like, where else can I put one? Even though I definitely don't need any more. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, I need to be done because I'm not even gonna be able to fill it in anymore if I don't stop. It's gonna be full before I even get to the week. Okay, I adore how this turned out. I think this is very cute. Oh, I love it so much. The only thing I don't love is all of those meetings that I have on Friday. That is, oof. Why? Why would you do such a thing? But it's fine because we're going to be done working at four and then we're going to have Monday off. So it, it'll be fine. I tell myself now, we'll see how I feel about it when it comes around. But that's going to be all for me in this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.